On this edition of Lunch with the Mayor, I am hanging out with Julie, a 40-year veteran at the City of Champlain. So when I first started back in 1982, I was the administrative clerk. And then I became administrative secretary, and then I worked in human resources, and then in 2022, I became the city clerk. So and in my city clerk role, I um, administer the elections, I issue business licenses like um, tobacco and alcohol and gas and uh, THC, food trucks, all those different things, so. Today, we are at Jinza Sushi and Grill, a must-visit destination for sushi, hibachi, and much more. One of your favorite restaurants here in yes, Champlain, Jinza. It is, it is, I love them. I usually get the hibachi steak and it's always, the meat is always very tender and it's very flavorful and whatnot, so that's one of my favorite things. My son Abel came along as well and was feeling adventurous with his culinary <laughs> palate. As Julie, Abel, and myself order our hibachi, the generous staff at Jinza brought out a stunning assortment of sushi platters and we were in awe of these beautiful works of art. So my youngest son, Abel Sabus here, he's coming to his first ever Lunch with the Mayor episode. He's really excited. <laughs> and he has a question for Julie that he is just dying to ask. What is that question, Abel? What's your favorite part of the job? What's the favorite part of my job? Well, I would have to say my favorite part is the people that I work with. I have a lot of friends at City Hall. In fact, I kind of consider them to be like my family because I've worked there for so long. Um, in fact, we have a lot of uh, employees that have actually worked for the city for 25 years or more. I'm not the only one that has a lot of long service at the city, so, and it's really nice. They help me with, when I need help, they help me with things, and it's just kind of fun to go to work and, and you know, see everyone, so. One thing that I look at your position as pretty exciting is when I myself as mayor, uh, or a council member or a new commissioner uh, raises their right hand and, and gives their oath uh, of office, you get to administer that. And I think <laughs> yes. that's pretty exciting because for me and my family, when I had my kids there and my wife there, that's a big moment in our lives and something we'll look back on for right. forever. Right. And my kids will be able to look back on, you know, long after I'm gone. And you get to be an integral part of that. And so tell me a little bit about your thoughts on that. You know, you're right. I didn't really think about it that way, but I do enjoy issuing the oath to the council, and I was really happy to be a part of that for you when you were being sworn in as mayor. Um, we do it for all the commissioners as well. So um, council serve a four-year term, and um, council and mayor, and then commissioners serve a three-year term. So every time their um, seat is up, and if they're re-elected, then we need to reissue the oath. And basically they're just saying, like, I agree to um, uphold the office and you know serve to the best of their ability and, and whatnot. So, and look at how beautiful this is. You just can't. It's just amazing. So, thank you very much. It yes. was a fun day. Lots of different options. I hope I hope you guys had fun watching. Julie, it's been it's just. I was excited for today's episode because thank you're you. such a special person at City Hall, thank and you. Um, and uh, this was a great great lunch. Thank you. And thank you to Jinza for their over-the-top generosity, craftsmanship, and delicious food. Champlin is lucky to have Jinza in the community. So be sure to dine in or try out their amazing takeout options.